Hey everyone, this is Kenny and welcome back to Mindful Season 2 Episode 11, no, 12! <laughs> and today I'm here at the auditorium Because I want to show you the huge progress I made here at the park uh, First, there's these gorgeous trees here Oh my ladies, these are my cypress, my favorite kind of tree in real life. And I love this the cypress, the way they are, they, they go up to the sky, and the way they kind of break the the landscape, the 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 horizontal line of the landscape, as you can see kind of you know you it breaks the monotony of the, the the trees if you go here I will show you look at this landscape here and you see that it's beautiful but it's it's monotonous <laughs> but when you add the, the cypress everything changes because you are creating Peaks, you see. Look at the, this. This landscape, you create peaks. So you're kind of breaking the boringness <laughs> of the landscape. I love these trees. <laughs> love you. Let me hug you. Mm. Love you, tree. So gorgeous, so majestic, so majestic. And yeah, I finished here the pathway, put the the guide rail here, flowers everywhere, flowers everywhere, and I I will go here into the pond. But first I want to speak about the the color code for this park so at the beginning i was putting flowers randomly here at the the pathway and i will show you what i was doing so um first i put the corals and then i start to put some flowers here randomly but when i do it randomly uh random is nice because you kind of make it not geometrically you make it like seem more naturally that's the the reason for random things but at the same time when you randomly uh, put flowers without creating a color code you kind of creates a big mess of things that uh, kind of um, don't um, they don't don't balance it with each other <laughs> I think that's the, the the word you have to balance the colors because you have um, different kind of frequencies here yellow have a frequency of color red another frequency so when you randomly put this without thinking of color code you kind of creating like a mess it's too busy it's too much color too much information and you can kind of, you you are so amazed by the so dazed by the colors that you can appreci appreciate the rest of the park so what's the color code that i create first we have the, the the colors of the coral pink red yellow and purple so we already have this color set so i kind of have to get rid of anything that's not that color so like the tulip it's kind of pink but no 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 white and not this alien because this alien is lilac it's not purple 
it's slightly uh it's slightly brighter than purple so as i get ready rid of the these flowers here things start to get better because you have the flowers but it's all balanced you don't have like things um like begging for your attention please look at me i'm a bright flower here no you everything it's more natural so the the only two flowers that i put here is the poppy and the dandelion i don't know how how, how it's the new name of these yeah it's the it's to the dandelion <laughs> So these are the two, the only two flowers, excuse me, that I put around the park. You can see how, how things are much more natural, less busy, you can appreciate the flowers, you appreciate the, the trees, the rest of the park and so as I, I i get rid of the 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 white flowers here i put all together here so i still using the flowers but i create this code for them and the lilac with the tulips you know when you organize the the, the flowers like here only tulips is it with uh, alien when you do this everything looks more tidy more organized more beautiful because you don't have that mess of flowers popping up everywhere every color you know everything now is more organized uh, I want to show the difference that we can create with the with co different color codes for for pathway so these we have the pink yellow purple red pink yellow purple red everywhere as you can see here here pink purple yellow everywhere but here in this other pathway that i created here i just use white purple and pink and look the difference that it brings when you walk in a different color code of flowers you get another feeling your your, your mind <laughs> starts to to feel in another way because there are um, there are different frequencies going to your brain <laughs> you see the difference between the the the, frank, the frequency of this and the frequency of this so i think this is the importance of the 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 color code when you are doing the pathway or when you're creating things like parks and gardens and uh, oh this tunnel here i fix here put some some, some dead corals uh let, let, let me show you this and i, I have to, to sleep but let me show you here first actually i don't have to sleep because i made this park uh mob free and you can see that i don't use any torches everything is hidden everywhere <laughs> so let's continue we can do it uh at night with this shader these shaders is shooters uh i think it's shooters basic i don't know what's the, the 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 name but it's like the vanilla but with a slightly uh shade here bright here so in the night you can see more clearly than other shaders i think i kind of want to adopt these shaders on the videos you see 
Uh, it's it's a very bright moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Camp 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 Power is sleepy. <laughs> oh my God! Look at the, the the bright of this moon. It's like um, yeah, it's like this. <laughs> so let's continue here. Uh, so let, uh, as you can see, I put some some dead corals here to make like a dead dead bushes. I hid some some lights here. Use carpets, gray carpets. I was using pistons, but here I uh, the gray carpets fit better because I was using these pistons, but the gray carpet looks really really. Fantastic! Oh my god, this I love these shaders. I love because it's very very smooth. Not smooth. It, it it's not that that shaders with that brightness that goes into your mind and ball explodes everything with brightness. <laughs> no, it's a very very subtle shaders, and here we are. At the pound, oh my god, I'm very happy with the, this pound. Um, it takes me some time to, to, to do not to do this, but to actually put my hands on the pound. The pound was here, sad, you know, just with some stones here, very, very sad. So I thought, it, I think it's time to bring some love and some life here in the pound and thanks update a credit because now we can use some flowers here like aquatic flowers because um we used to have like um some textures pack that use the lily pad with some pinky flower and that was okay but th that was not the, the the best and i think this is what we kind a better solution for for this the same thing that i made that i did there uh, on the 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 green the the, the grass area i put a slab dark, dark slab and put this this coral here and lily pads so it looked like a lotus flowers you know like aquatic flowers Love it. put some of these bamboos here actually uh, it should be uh, I don't know what's the name I remember at the garden of my grandfather he have like bamboos but it was like a mini tubes it was really really mini tubes like the the size of fingers not the size of fingers. the the, the <laughs> sorry <laughs> the round side is like a finger but it was really long and looks like a bamboo but not like a bamboo and it was like an aquatic plant my grandfather used to have a koi pound it was the most beautiful thing and many things that I did here uh, was like things that I remember that had at the 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 koi palm of my grandfather. So rocks, uh, uh, mossy the, the 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 mossy aspect. Um, it, it's it's not. Uh, it, it's funny because uh, the mossy have a really huge um, part of the, the the gardening the Japanese garden the moss kind of represents the wisdom you know because it takes time to to, to, to to create that mossy state so moss is something that we have to have on on gardens <laughs> it's really funny so you hear I put some of the beautiful sea pickles. We we create some lights here. All these shaders look so beautiful. So now we have a little waterfall here and some some bushes around with some some vines hanging here. 
I put some corals here on the side because these tips here, the top tips of the, the coral, they sh show up here on the, on the surface. So I put some here and here and the, the tall grass here, they are, they are kind of getting out of the, the surface. So I put some here and there. Oh my god, looks so beautiful! Oh my F1 mm. looks pagula there. <laughs> I could spend like an hour just looking at this. Oh my god, meditating. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So here's some some ideas. If you want to make a pound, always put mossy things like this mossy cobblestone. Actually, I have to put mossy cobblestone here because I just put on on, on the water. So always put some mossy, some bamboos, the the foliage. Uh, around here because uh, usually on on Japanese pounds this is not Japanese uh, I just uh, put some Japanese influence here <laughs> so there, there's some, some, some trees there kind of are hanging uh, on top of the the water so it's very common to see this kind of 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 plants around the the, the 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 ponds here and here you see they they kind of stays um on top of the water so why is this because this it's create some safe place for carps you know here uh create safe because uh, when the sun hits hard ooh <laughs> It's hard at noon and the water gets more like warm and and hot so fishes tend to go to the these little areas here you know to cover up from the sun yeah like I'm a fish <laughs> so I, oh, that's why we have these areas I have to put some fishes here I didn't did I have to do it? I didn't do it yet, but yeah, that's the reason for for uh, plant for for yeah this kind of bushes around the the the, the pool for it's for the protection of the the fishes. So here under under the water, I put some corals and the sea pickles and just bone meal everywhere and it that it it's super simple you just have to do it don't have to like put uh go crazy and put <laughs> grass <laughs> grassy grassy <laughs> for sea grass no you just put bone meal bre break some just to break the the the, the grit you know just not to make like here it's too greedy so you break some of this grit and there you have then you have a beautiful pound a really really beautiful and calm and good looking just put this element some bushes and mossy always remember the mossy and you're done your garden will look your your garden your pond will look super fancy <laughs> So yeah, the sun is almost setting and I will leave you here. This is it for this episode. I hope you like these little tips I give here for the, the, the pound. I'm loving this update and if you like this video, please hit the like below. And if you want to see more content like this, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.